Rachel has learned that GMOs are affecting the entire planet. She has been invited to speak to schools, universities, TEDx, magazines, you name it. And she's also been nominated as Toronto's Green Hero by Now Magazine. She's been recognized for her ability to debate the dragon called Kevin O'Leary. As you all know, GMOs are affecting our health, our environment, and our entire ecosystem. Companies like Monsanto are contaminating the world with chemicals and genetically modified crops while claiming to feed the hungry and protect our environment. But we all know this is just a PR tactic to divert attention from what's really happening, the contamination of our global food supply. <laughs> Biotech corporations like Monsanto, Syngenta, Bayer, and DuPont have become corporate bullies. These companies use their power and political influence to persuade our governments to accept their untested and unregulated genetically modified crops. Genetically engineered crops have led to a massive increase of pesticide use, which is destroying our soil, corrupting our water, killing off our bees and butterflies. Yes, we are being bullied. Some of you may have seen my debate with Kevin O'Leary on the Lang and O'Leary Exchange Show. <laughs> months ago. During the debate, Kevin admitted that yes, we are part of a long-term experiment and that yes, we are the lab rats. We didn't ask for this. We don't want this. It's time to stand up for farmers and for seed freedom. Yay! It's time to stand up for our ecosystem and our bees and our butterflies. It is time to stand up for our future of food and for our health. It is time to stand up for our right to know and our freedom of choice. We are growing and gaining momentum like in six continents, 52 countries, and 400 cities around the world. One last thing. Here I go again. Well, I'd like to challenge Rona Ambrose, Minister of Health, to have a discussion with me. To have a discussion with me and Theory Brain on the issues of GMOs here in Canada. Theory Brain is a former genetic engineer for Agriculture Canada, and I'd love to discuss how we should have mandatory independent studies. Now, I'm doing this on behalf of our future, on behalf of the kids and the youth, and behalf of the people. I wish you all a wonderful Thanksgiving. And thank you for having me part of this amazing movement and this beautiful weekend. And God bless, thank you. Um, you had your little uh, showdown with Kevin O'Leary, and that went really well. For sure. And what, you had a YouTube, that YouTube video, what, it hit almost 2 million views. Almost 2 million now. So I guess that counts as viral. I guess so. <laughs> and uh, what, you, you must have had a lot of people, a lot of interest in what you're doing since that interview. For sure, and I've even gotten messages around the world, even from places like the Netherlands and Australia. Tell me a little bit about this um, challenge to... Is it the Minister of Agriculture or? Minister of Health. Minister of Health. Okay, tell me a little bit about that. Well, um, I decided to challenge her because she really accepts um, all the GMOs that come into Canada um, and approves them. So I decided she'd be a good match and um, somebody needed to challenge her. Okay, and uh, how does, uh, what's the gentleman's name? He's a scientist. He was a. Uh, Pro GMO. What's his name? Uh, Theory Brain. Okay, and how he does he was, fit into this? Well, he used to be pro GMO. He was a geneticist for Agriculture Canada, and now he's an anti-GMO advocate. Well, it looked like a really great protest. Uh, I was really fascinated listening to Shiv Chopra, and we've got some great people out here. Some people that really know the science behind these challenges. And uh, thank you for all you're doing and for being a part of this and, and waking people up. Thank you so much.